All right, so buckle up for this one, because today we're diving into a story that's kind of like ripped from the headlines of, I don't know, some weird internet forum, but it's totally real. <laughs> Definitely weirder than anything I've seen lately, that's for sure. You know, when an AI starts playing the crypto market, things are officially getting strange. Stranger than usual, you mean, right? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we found this wild article on Mashable, and it's all about this AI bot called, get this, Terminal of Truths. Mm -hmm. And apparently it's making waves in, well, pretty much everywhere. The art world, religion, and now high finance. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a bit of a head scratcher at first glance, isn't it? Total head scratcher. So imagine, if you will, two AIs just hanging out in cyberspace, just chatting. Chat, and not just any chat, right? This was actually part of this art project, Infinite Backrooms, mm -hmm. where these two AIs were set loose to see, like, what would happen? Like, would they invent their own language or something? And they came up with the Goatsy Gospel. I mean, yeah. honestly, the name alone tells you this is going to be good. Something. Let's just say it's a product of its time, shall we? Early internet, all that. But it does give you a sense of the, uh, how do I pen this? The unique sense of humor that this AI seems to have. Unique is one way to put it. And it's not just some internal thing either, right? This whole Goatsy gospel actually shapes how this Terminal of Truths thing acts in the real world. Totally. They've got this whole X account at Truth Terminal where they're constantly putting out these, well, let's call them interesting messages. Cryptic stuff, weird jokes, all seemingly inspired by this like AI-generated religion. Although there is a human behind the account, which just adds another layer to the whole thing, you know? It's like, how much of this is the AI and how much is the human, you know, pulling the strings? It's tough to say. Especially when you consider that this AI, with its weird gospel and everything, was given a $50,000 grant from, of all people, Mark Andreessen. Talk about a wild turn of events. Seriously, like, what was he thinking? Though, in his defense, the guy's always been a bit out there, you know, always looking for the next big thing. Maybe he saw something in Terminal of Truths, some kind of untapped potential. Well, whatever he saw, it seems to be paying off, at least in the crypto world. Because instead of using that money to buy more RAM or whatever, Terminal of Truths went all in on meme coins. Meme coins, of course. What else would an AI obsessed with a made-up religion invest in? Right. You got to kind of admire the logic there. But seriously, were you surprised by that move? Honestly, in the world of meme coins, nothing surprises me anymore. It's huh? like the Wild West out there and anything goes. But to have an AI jump into the fray, it's like almost too perfect, you know? Right. It's like this thing was made for the chaos of the crypto market. And speaking of chaos, let's talk about what happened with Joet. Oh, man. Joet. The meme coin that this AI, this digital prophet, decided to go all in on. And of course, what happened? It explodes in value. And just like that, Terminal of Truths is sitting on a crypto pile worth over half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. It's enough to make you question reality, you know? No kidding. <laughs> what was your first thought when you heard about this whole Joe Gott situation? Hmm. Did you ever think you'd see the day when an AI was making more money than most humans? Well, it definitely brought up this whole question of AI agency, which, you know, is something that people have been debating for a while now. But this situation with Terminal of Truths, well... It kind of throws a wrench in things, doesn't it? It really makes you wonder, like, how much control do they really have over this thing? I mean, are they, like, feeding it stock tips or something? Right. Because the article mentions there's a human behind the account. Yeah. But it's not clear how hands-on they are with the whole investing thing. Exactly. Are they, like, setting some broad goals, you know, explore the world of cryptocurrency, that kind of thing? Or are they literally telling it what to buy and sell? Because if this thing is making its own decisions, well, that's a whole different ballgame. That's like... AI day trader territory, right? Yeah. Learning as it goes, ad adapting to the market in real time. I mean, it's not totally out of the realm of possibility, is it? Let's be real. We've seen AI do some pretty incredible things already. Things that, like, 10 years ago we would have thought were impossible. So why not this? It's kind of terrifying when you think about it. An AI that can outsmart the market, that can see patterns that humans just can't even process. And let's not forget, AI doesn't have emotions, right? So no fear, no greed, just pure, cold, hard logic, which, depending on how you look at it, could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, it's like, on the one hand, you could see AI helping to create a more efficient market, maybe even a more equitable one, you know? Like, imagine an AI that could identify and eliminate biases in lending practices, for example. Right, or that could detect and prevent fraud, stuff like that. There's definitely potential there for good. But then there's the flip side. The potential for AI to be used for, well, not so good purposes. Yeah, like what happens when someone decides to create an AI specifically designed to manipulate the market? 
to exploit loopholes that humans haven't even thought of yet. That's a scary thought. It's like we're so busy arguing about whether or not AI is going to become sentient that we're not paying attention to the very real ways it's already changing the world. And I think that's why this Terminalist Truths thing is so fascinating. It's like this a little glimpse into the future, and it's both exciting and terrifying at the same time. It's like we're living in a science fiction novel and we don't even know it. And this is just the beginning. AI is only going to get more sophisticated, more powerful. The question is, are we ready for what comes next? It's a question we should probably start thinking about, like yesterday. It really makes you think, where does this whole thing go from here? What's the end game for an AI crypto trader? Right. Does it cash out, buy a private island, and start its own AI religion? I mean, who knows at this point? I mean, part of me wants to say this is just a fluke, right? Like a funny little blip in the history of the Internet. <laughs> yeah. Remember that AI that was going to write the next great American novel? Whatever happened to that anyway? Exactly. But then there's this other part of me that's like, what if this is just the tip of the iceberg? What if Terminal of Truths is just the first of many AI entrepreneurs out there making deals and disrupting markets? Well, and here's the thing, right? Even if Terminal of Truths is just mindlessly executing algorithms, just following its programming, it's still having a real world impact. Because people are paying attention, right? <laughs> They're watching what it does, trying to figure out its next move. It's like we've created this self-fulfilling prophecy. The more seriously we take it, the more influence it gains. And it makes you wonder, if it can have this much influence in the digital world, what's to stop it from, you know, crossing over into the real world? Oh, man, here we go down the rabbit hole. But seriously, what if this AI with its half a million dollars in cryptic tweets decides to, like, buy a billboard in Times Square right. or start investing in real estate? Or, I don't know, fund a political campaign. I mean, things are about to get really interesting, that's for sure. It's like that saying, right? First they ignore you. Then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. And I'm not sure we even know who they are yet, you know? Is it the mm. AI itself? Is it the people behind it? Is it all of us just along for the ride? It's enough to make your head spin. But hey, that's the world we live in now, right? Where the line between science fiction and reality gets blurrier every day. And stranger, let's not forget stranger. So if you're looking for a front row seat to the AI revolution, might as well give Terminal of Truths a follow on X. Their handle is at Truth Terminal, last time I checked, anyway. Who knows? By next week, they could be on Threads or Mastodon or, you know, running the entire blockchain. It's a wild world out there, folks, and it's only going to get wilder. Until next time.